Cocoa is mainly grown by millions of poor farmers in West Africa. The cocoa beans are sold often several times before they are transformed into your chocolate. West Africa has lost most of its forests. A big part of this loss is due to cocoa. Cocoa can be grown in forests, but for decades it has been the only crop on small farms. When cocoa trees grow old or diseased, farmers move on to another part of the forest where they start again. Gold miners and loggers also move into forests. They are followed by those who then plant palm, soy or cocoa. This also happens in protected forests. On top of this, tens of thousands of people cross borders in search of a better life. Some want to grow cocoa to support families desperate for a living. This loss of forests makes climate change worse and this makes life even harder for everyone. So how do we break this vicious cycle? It is a complex issue, so everyone must be part of the solution. This is why the Cocoa and Forests Initiative was launched in 2017. For the first time, all the key players are brought together. The governments of Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana, more than 30 leading cocoa and chocolate companies, NGOs, farmers and communities across West Africa. For the first time, there are annual reports on progress in saving the forests and everyone who has signed up is responsible for the results. The Cocoa and Forests Initiative has a broad vision and tackles root causes to save West Africa's forests. Firstly, it protects and restores forests. One way it is doing this is by helping cocoa communities to plant tens of millions of forest trees on farms and millions of trees on degraded lands. Secondly, it is helping farmers to grow cocoa in a way that protects the forests and gives them more income. It is doing this by training hundreds of thousands of farmers to grow more cocoa on less land. Thirdly, the Cocoa and Forests Initiative works to engage cocoa communities and ensure everyone is included. One way it does this is with programs that help women earn and save more. The fight to stop cocoa from destroying forests has come a long way in a short time, but the journey is far from over. Join us to learn how your chocolate can play its part in saving and restoring West Africa's forests and stopping climate change.